Hello, I'm back again with another book review. This book review is for my book, Who is the Holy Ghost? And um, this is what it looks like. And I guess I could put it where it's not glaring, but there is a picture preceding this video. Now, I'm going to read to you, as I have done before, uh, what's on the back cover of the book. The Holy Ghost has been around as long as God because, in fact, the Holy Ghost is God. The identification of the Spirit of God has been a mystery previously to many Christians until the Azusa Street Revival in 1906 and later the so-called Charismatic Movement of the 70s and 80s. Until then, perhaps it was accepted that the Holy Ghost or Spirit was God and not much was being taught about it. The aim of this text is to acquaint Christians with not only the identity but also the personality and personal ministry of the Holy Spirit which is God at work on the earth and in the church through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit are much needed in the church today. Now, um, as I've read to you, my aim here is to, um, to not only talk about the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit in terms of um, the Spirit's work in a Christian's life uh, in the church and in the world today. The Holy Spirit is, in fact, the God in us. When we say that God is in our hearts, what we are saying basically is that God has come to dwell in us. And that in and of itself is an awesome expression and almost to the point of being unbelievable. But in this particular case, I, I want to mention to you a little revelation that I had one day sitting on my front porch when I was asking the Lord the question, how can the Holy Spirit be in me? We talk about the Holy Spirit as being in our hearts, but exactly what does that mean? Well, I called upon the scripture that the life is in the blood. What does that mean? How can the life, being God, how can the life be in my blood. Well, in fact, a spirit is, um, in the strictest sense, um, the same as oxygen. And what's in our blood? But water. Water's made up of H2O, oxygen. And so what the Lord showed me is that He, by His Holy Spirit, is able to be in our blood when we are born again of the Spirit. Now, what that means in essence, and this is an awesome thing, is that God's Spirit is in every part of me, every part of my body, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. And He is in every every vein, every capillary, every artery, and he's constantly moving in my blood, just as my blood is constantly moving in and through my body. And not long after the Lord showed me that, I was in a prayer group in which um, we, were, we were standing in a circle, and some of us were, were holding our hands up um, as in a posture for receiving of the Spirit. And I suddenly became aware of the blood moving in my fingers and in my hand. And the Lord very quietly said, You feel that? That's me. I'm moving. What an awesome thought. Just think about that for a moment. If the life of God is in your blood, then
and he is constantly moving with your blood throughout your body, that gives new meaning to his ever presence in our lives. And so I wanted to, in this book, to acquaint you all with the Holy Ghost or Spirit, as it is called interchangeably. And I don't want to get into too much depth at this point, but I believe that the Holy Spirit is the feminine aspect of the Trinity. We have God the Father and God the Son, so it stands to reason that the Holy Spirit would be the feminine aspect. And another reason for that is the fact that Jesus said that the Holy Spirit brings life and brings new birth. And we all know that women give birth to babies, to new life. And so the Holy Spirit, as being part of the Trinity, um, that's, that's just an awesome, another awesome revelation. And if you see the Holy Spirit, and you don't have to call the Holy Spirit her or she. Um, I know that's awkward for some people, and I certainly don't mean to imply that the Holy Spirit is a goddess or a mother goddess so don't get all bent out of shape about that to the point where you're not interested in what I have to say but what I do in this text is talk about the gifts of the Spirit I talk about the fruit of the Spirit and I talk about these things in ways that I had never heard them explained before until the Lord opened my eyes about these uh, revelations and about the difference between being filled with the Holy Spirit and baptized with the Holy Spirit. And uh, believe me, you'll, um, you'll see what I'm talking about if you just take the time to read the book. And I'm not going to tell you all of those things right now, but trust me when I tell you that um, it's a very eye-opening book. So I'm going to close this little video book review, and I hope that you will uh, check out this book. Uh, it's available through me, through my website, which is delbaloo.com, and if you order it through me, I will send it shipping free, and it's probably only about 99 cents for the ebook, and that's the immediate way to get to it. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Well, I hope that you uh, gained something from this little book review, and I'm going to sign out now and uh, just say thank you so much for visiting and for your interest. And um, I will be back uh, later with another book review. And thank you again, and bye for now.